All right, all right, all right. Hey, about eight months ago, I put a video on uh, concerning Crossroads guitars. Uh, I, I just realized that look, there's not a lot of information on these guitars. Uh, there's no website. Uh, there's, uh, as far as I know, I have the only video on YouTube uh, concerning these guitars. But they've got a new model out. I just wanted to share it with you, a couple of new ones. I just wanted to share them with you just very quickly. Uh, I'm holding in my hand right now. This is a Crossroads CD80. This is a cutaway. It's acoustic electric. It has the quarter inch and the XLR DI in it. Just great guitars. Again, open back tuners. Open back tuners, got the balloon on it. Uh, and just let me say this, a lot of people ask, what's this for? This, this is not simply just to copy Martin. Uh, this was not a trademark that Martin put on their guitars. This is to strengthen the scarf joint where the, uh, where the headstock is put on the neck. So that's all this is for, is just for reinforcement of the scarf joint. Uh, this one is bound front and back. It's got rosette inlay all the way around. I'm not sure exactly what that is. But what I like about this one is uh, it's matte rosewood. It's just a matte finish. So it's not gloss. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not sure if tonally it does anything. Uh, just great little guitars. Again, uh, it's got a tuner. Uh, hold on one second. I am I'm playing a Chinese song right now. It's called Tuning. <laughs> but anyway, onboard tuner, notch filter, presence control. Just great little guitars. Uh, and again, I, you know, I've got one of these. Uh, I've got one of these left. If I'm not mistaken, according to my distributor, I got the last one that he had. Now, I'm not sure how many distributors in the U.S. there are for Crossroads guitars. From my understanding, please do not hold me to this, but from my understanding, according to my distributor, Crossroads guitars are made uh, in the same factory as Blue Ridge guitars. So that should tell you the, the quality of, of the build. I have sold a lot of Crossroads guitars, a lot of Crossroads guitars. I've never had one come back. I've never had one complaint out of the Crossroads guitars. I've never had to do a repair. I've never had to send one back for a warranty issue. Out of every guitar I've sold, every one of them has just been spot on. The quality control is amazing. So again, uh, this is the, the cutaway with a matte finish. Uh, last one of these that I have. Let me show you one more. This is the, the newest Crossroads guitar that they have come out with. This is probably my favorite guitar. They, boy, did you hear that? This is the CD1000 in a natural finish. This is the granddaddy of all Crossroads guitars. This is the best guitar that they make. I've had four of these, five of these. I've had five of these. This is the only one I have in stock right now. I'm keeping this one just because it is just, it's just that good. Uh, and, and listen, I, I've got vintage Gibsons. I've got vintage Martins. So I understand good guitar. I understand tone. This guitar just fits the bill for every one of those. Uh, and it's at a price point that is just unheard of for a all solid wood guitar. There is no laminate in this guitar at all. It's got a book matched spruce top. It has solid rosewood back and sides, book matched on the back as well. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous guitar. This one is straight acoustic, straight acoustic on this one. Now this one has a, the, something else that the other guitars have. If you'll look inside, 
if I can get the flashlight to work here. Uh, I'm having some... Okay, if you'll look at the bracing. I don't know if you can see the bracing or not. But all of the bracing, all of the bracing in this guitar, every bit of the bracing has these holes in it. I have been told that that lightens the bracing and allows the back and the uh, the front, the top, to vibrate more, which is what gives them the, the projection and the volume. This thing is loud. I mean, this guitar is... I couldn't even play my lick there. Anyway, just phenomenal guitars. Again, this guitar has every every bell and whistle. Uh, it's got the bone nut uh, and saddle. It's got, uh, and I now I added these. It has bone uh, abalone bridge pins. I did add these, so I do add a few things to the guitars. Uh, these are the strings that came on the guitar when, when, I, when I took it out of the box. Uh, the only thing I've done to this guitar is took it out of the box. I lowered the saddle just ever so slightly, put some bone bridge pins in, and I'm playing with the strings that came with the guitar. I've had this guitar for a few months. Months. Uh, it's still bright. It's still ringing. still has volume. Okay, so it's got the bone nut. Again, it's got the flute on the back. It's got the open back butter bean style tuners. Just, just a great, a great guitar. I, I'm not going to give you a price on these uh, because I do know that there are dealers out there who sell these that have hard stores. Uh, I can sell mine much cheaper because I don't have a hard store. Uh, I don't have employees. I don't have overhead. So I can sell mine for uh, a lot cheaper than a lot of the guys again, that have hard stores, and, and I wouldn't want to take anything away from them. Uh, I'm sure that whatever they are asking is a, is more than fair. I know what the, uh, the, the distributor tells me to sell these for, uh, these guitars could, could easily uh, sell for six and $700, which again, I think is extremely good deal for a, for a, a solid wood, uh, rosewood uh, guitar. So, I only sell here out of my office uh, in North Georgia. So if you're in North Georgia and you want to come check them out, uh, be you know be my guest. Hit me up on YouTube. Just hit me the message. I'll tell you how to get to me. Uh, and you but you can come and play one of these. But again, just not a lot of information on these. I, I possibly once this video uploads, I'll possibly have the only two videos on YouTube on the Crossroads guitars and. got some friends that I sell these to that travel. They travel and play. Uh, they have Martins. They have Taylors. They, they've got a lot of great guitars, uh, Takaminis. And, and I'm not taking away from any of those guitars because I, I myself, as I said earlier, uh, I own a lot of vintage acoustic guitars. Uh, I'm not the greatest player in the world, but I, but I love guitars. And, and I know what sounds good. Uh, these guitars are phenomenal. Uh, I've just sold one of these recently that I put an LR bag style pickup in, uh, just an under the saddle pickup, and man, it it just it sounded sounded great. So these are just great guitars, versatile guitars, and again, uh, you know, lot, not a lot of information. So uh, if you have any questions, I, I know in my last video I was unaware. Uh, that I had any comments. Uh, for some reason, YouTube didn't alert me that there was any comments on my video, and I wasn't paying attention. So, uh, if you will, uh, if you got any questions, just just shoot me a comment, and uh, as soon as I see it, I will uh, I'll be sure to answer you, and I'll try to answer every question that you have. Again, uh, I'm no expert, uh, but uh, but like I said, I, I do know good tone when I hear it. So. Uh, if you've never tried a Crossroads, try to find one. Uh, just pick it up and play it. I believe you'll be pleasantly supply, surprised, uh, and I think you'll end up buying one. Hey, I appreciate you. God bless you. Have a great day.